Well, our top story, uh, Preeti Chaudhary is joining us from the residence of uh, Malikarjun Kharge. Preeti, the big question is that the polls are done and dusted with, but the real people who hold the power in the Congress party has in fact always been the Gandhis. We'll talk to you about that, uh, Preeti. In fact, uh, Rahul Gandhi said, of course, I'm going to report to Malikarjun Kharge. But uh, that is something that really remains to be seen, isn't it? Everybody is going to be watching that very closely. Well, of course, uh, you know, Sneha, that is the big question. Uh, Shashi Tharoor, who came in a short while back to congratulate Mr. Kharge, uh, remember with what he had said uh, when he filed his nomination, that if you want to vote for me, you vote for change. If you want things to remain the same, you vote for Mr. Kharge. So, but, uh, you know, having said that, to give uh, Mr. Kharge the benefit of doubt uh, going ahead, there is a sense of excitement, uh, at least where the cadre of the Congress is concerned. Uh, and, you know, it's very rare uh, that, uh, at least with the Congress, and every time I have gone to the headquarters on a big day or an event, that you see this kind of excitement. So there is a certain amount of hope that this has happened for the better and things will change and not remain the same. Uh, how will Mr. Kharge go ahead? What is the kind of uh, 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 decision? Uh, that he would be making. Uh, he is a man of his own. He's a bloodied politician. But yes, if, if you remember, every time uh, he's been spoken of, uh, the virtue of loyalty is uh, right on top even before we talk about anything else. So will he remain um, a true loyalist of the Gandhis and do their bidding? Or will he come into his own? Because give a man power, you don't know quite what he becomes. But uh, the word is, he's got his task cut out. The fact is there will be and they have to be changes, sweeping changes within the constituent of the Congress itself, various party posts. There will be changes is what we are getting to understand. The Gandhi still now, uh, till very recently, the cavalcade of Sonia Gandhi is pulled in viewers. Uh, right behind me, I'll ask uh, camera person Ashok Bhano to show you. Uh, and, you know, I'll take on from what I was saying. Um, that, uh, you know, the Gandhis have always been reluctant to various uh, elections in terms of the CWC. Will that happen right now under Mr. Kharge? Um, that's also a big question. You heard Rahul Gandhi when he was uh, holding that press conference uh, in Andhra Pradesh where he went on to say that he's going to now be taking his orders from the man in charge, the president-elect, uh, uh, Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. The belly that you see right behind me is the Congress con uh, you know, contingent welcoming Sonia Gandhi, I would reckon. He was ex uh, she's expected any minute from now. A short while ago, the man who cast his first ballot was uh, Mr. Uh, Chidambaram, who cast his first vote, went in. Congratulations, clearly in order. All loads uh, from right now the Congress headquarters to uh, lead to Mr. Malik Arjun Kharge's residence. Uh, Ms. Sonia Gandhi uh, is now the outgoing, she was the interim Congress president, she's the outgoing Congress president. And uh, I believe, uh, you know, we're going to try and get in a larger understanding if that cavalcade right behind uh, is hers. But she is expected, she is going to come in uh, officially, congratulate Mr. Kharge. I believe a conversation has already taken place. Uh, Mr. Kharge has, of course, won by a whopping majority, uh, Sneha. We are talking about at the works of uh, eight folds the number of, uh, of votes that uh, Mr. Tharoor has received. Mr. Tharoor, even though his team, uh, Salman Saws, uh, wrote a scathing letter uh, at a level um, to uh, Mr. Mistri where he went on and he 